hi welcome to this tutorial today we are going to solve questions on gradient from IGCSE past paper before we start can we subscribe to my channel like the video and share it with your friends before we start solving the questions let's go through a quick review to find the gradient we use the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 Suppose two points are given to us. A is uh, 2 and 1 and B is 3 and 5. So if you want to find the gradient, you have to use these points. If this is x1, this will be y1. And if this is x2, this will be y2. So let's solve this. Gradient is equal to y2, which is 5, minus 1, and x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 2. So 3 minus 2. Put the whole thing in the calculator, you will get the gradient is 4. If I had taken this as my x2 and this as my y2, and this is my x1 and y1 we are still going to get the same answer so let's solve this gradient now what is my y2 now 1 1 minus 5 and my x2 is 2 so 2 minus 3 put this in the calculator and you will still get 4 the only important thing for you to remember here is if you take this as x1 this has to be y1 and if you take this as x2 this has to be y2 you cannot take x from one point and y from the other point okay the other thing you must know is equation of line is always written as y is equal to mx plus c m the number before your x is your gradient many times you will get uh, equation given to you and you have to find the gradient if it is not written in this form you are supposed to write it in this form let's take a few examples y is equal to 3x plus 6 in this case what is the gradient what is the number before x 3 so this is a very obvious uh, answer let's take another one Second, y minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. This equation is not in this form. So the first thing is we are going to move the x and the number to the other side. When you move to the other side, the signs will change. So the negative is going to be positive and the 2 will be negative 2. Now what is your gradient? 3. Let's try another example. So this is the equation 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. The first thing you need to remember is that you want to make y the subject. So the subject always has to be positive. So we are going to move this to the other side to make it positive. 5x is equal to 2y plus 4. And for the subject, we need to have it alone. We cannot have the 4 here. The plus 4 when we move to the other side will be negative 4. You also have a 2 before y. This is 2y. 2y means 2 multiplied by y. So the 2 when we bring to the other side is going to be a divide. Divide each term by 2. Now that we have written this, we write the y is equal to 5 over 2x 4 divided by 2 is 2 what is the gradient in this case 5 over 2 in the same equation we also have plus c c is your y intercept y intercept means the point where it cuts the y axis so suppose you have a graph like this 
this point here where it cuts your y-axis is your y-intercept we take the y value on the y-axis this is the y-axis our x is always zero so now let's find the y-intercept in the questions we solved in this question what is the y-intercept c uh, sorry six and in this equation our y-intercept is negative two what about the last one the last one also our y-intercept is negative two i hope you have understood this so now we are ready to start the solving the questions so the first question we have been given a grid and two points are given to us and they are joined together we have to find the gradient of the line a b to find the gradient you know that we are going to use the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 first we'll write down the points a look at the x value first negative 1 and then the corresponding y value is 1 so you have negative 1 and 1 and then for b we have 5 and 2 we write the x first and then the y 5 and 2 is our b now just using the formula gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 i am choosing this as my x2 and this as my y2 so this will be my x1 and y1 therefore 2 minus 1 over 5 minus minus 1 remember to put in a bracket the whole thing you can put in the calculator and you will get the answer 1 over 6 so the gradient is 1 over 6 in the next question two points are given to us and we have to work out the gradient of this line we are again going to use the formula gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so you choose your points whatever you want to write first i'm choosing b therefore 5 minus 2 understand that the y minus the y okay so 5 minus 2 over 8 minus 6 the x minus the x this will give us 3 over 2 so our gradient is 3 over 2 part b work out the equation of the line giving your answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c when we have to find the equation of the line we need three things we need the gradient which we have already found 3 over 2 we need x and we need y if two points are given to you choose one point i'm choosing a so you have 6 and 2 from this point we gather that x is 6 and y is 2 now that we have got our y m and x we'll substitute in this equation and we will find c so y is equal to mx plus c replace the y with 2 m with 3 over 2 and x with 6 put this in the calculator and see what you get you will get 9 plus c this 9 move it to the other side it's positive so it's going to be negative therefore negative 7 is equal to c now that you have found your c in your final step in y is equal to mx plus c we are going to replace the m and the c so what is our m 3 over 2 and what is our c which we just found negative 7 so we remove the plus sign also this is the answer okay question number three the equation of the line l in the diagram is y is equal to 5 minus x this is the line l and 
the, it is equal to five y is equal to five minus x. The line cuts the y axis at p. It cuts the y axis at p. Write down the coordinates of p. Whenever a line cuts y axis, the x coordinate is going to be zero. This is important. You need to remember. If it cuts the x axis, your y is equal to zero. So this is the place where y is going to be zero, and this is the place where x is going to be zero. Now we have to find the coordinate of p. We know that this is the equation y is equal to phi minus x. We know that x is zero. Replace the x with zero. What do we have? Five. So the coordinates is x is zero and y is five. Part B. Write down the gradient of the line L. To find the gradient, we need two points. We have been given only one point. To find the other point, we are going to use this where it cuts the x-axis, where y is equal to zero. So in place of y, we'll substitute zero. Make x the subject. It's negative. When I move to the other side, it will be positive. So x is equal to five. So what are the two points we got? We got zero, five. That is our p. And the new point we found is five and zero. To find the gradient, we are going to use the formula y two minus y one over x two minus x one. So replacing our y. 5 minus 0. This is the first I used. 5 minus 0, y minus y, and then x minus x. And we will get the gradient negative 1. Question number 4. Find the coordinates of the point where the line y is equal to 3x minus 8 crosses the y axis. Again, remember if it crosses or cuts y axis. What does that tell us? That your x is 0. So in this equation, we are going to replace the x with 0. And what do we get? Negative 8. So x is 0 and y is negative 8. Next, write down the gradient of the line y is equal to 3x minus 8. You know that gradient is the number before x. So the number before x is what? 3. That's our gradient. Now, this looks like a very difficult question, but it is not. In the exam, you don't get exactly the type of things you learn. You know how to find the gradient, correct? Okay, let's see the question. By drawing a suitable tangent, estimate the gradient of the curve at the point P. The word gradient is here. By using a, drawing a suitable tangent, tangent is a line which cuts the curve only at one place. The questions will be framed in a different way. So first thing, let's draw the tangent. This is how you draw the tangent. And then for the gradient, you need two points. The first point is P. What is that going to be? When x is 2, y is 1. So x is 2 and y is 1. We need one more point. Look at this point here. We'll take this. It cuts the x-axis. So x is 3.5 and remember on the x-axis y is 0. So the point is going to be 3.5 and 0. Now using the rule gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 1 minus 0 over 2 minus 3.5 and we will get negative 2 over 3. Question number 6. The equation of a straight line can be written in the form 3x plus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. Part A. Rearrange this equation to make y the subject. So when you want to make the subject, we are going to move everything else to the other side. Therefore, 2y is equal to the 3x will be negative 3x and the negative 8 will be 8. 
2y means 2 multiply by y, divide everything by 2. So 8 divided by 2, what do we get? We get y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 8 divided by 2, 4. So that's our answer. Next, write down the gradient of the line. Gradient is negative 3 over 2, the number before x. Write down the coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. Next part of the question, write down the coordinates of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So we know by now very well that when the line crosses the y-axis, x is 0. So in place of x, we will put 0. This will give us 4. So what is the coordinate? x is 0 and y is 4. 